if you can hit this golf shot, you're swinging well. Hi everyone, Murdoch here. Hope you're well. And this shot, I've got a six iron, and the shot I want you to be able to hit that will give you the proper um, feedback of you swinging well, if you can repeat it, is a compressed punched fade six iron. In order to hit this shot, we've got to keep the hips turning out of the way. We've got to get that feeling of a lag created from rotation, the hands leading in, you're hitting and committing, but because we're turning through better, we're not flipping. So we can actually hold the face down the target for longer as we turn through. So to hit that shot, go down the handle a bit. Again, set up well, ball in the center, you're down the handle, you're focusing on where you need to be at impact, and you're imagining now where that club face should be for the lower, slightly faded flight, and then we're putting some speed to it. So a couple of practice swings. You know I like my three practice swings, each one adding a bit more don't care and a bit more commitment and speed to each of them. So here we go. So I'm just going to go back short. Don't worry so much about the backswing because this is an impact and post impact where you feel like you're committing to the strike, I staying down, really focusing on that turn through and that will quieten the hands down and you'll feel as if they're quiet enough to hold the face for that little fade. Because we've added more turn in the hips, you'll feel the hands also leading into the shot, which will lower the trajectory, lower the height to be like that five iron, four iron height, which is what we want. So a couple of practice swings now, adding a bit more speed. Gently back to about here, that's fine. You know, you can relate to my hands opposite right shoulder position from the turn drill. Leave this as your comfort blanket position. Turning through, committing to here. And you'll notice already a nice little strike off your first swing. Recall that feeling again. Another good one. Third one. There you go. You've got a template now. Now you don't care even more. You go to the ball. Think of that low flight. Think of that position. Copy those swings. And there you go. Won't take long at all. You can do it with your practice swings to get the success blueprint you want. Then commit. And go ahead and, and get that compression back. Lower flight, little fade. As long as you can stay down and see the club strike the ball, you'd have maintained your angles. That's why I like the commit to the strike. Anyway, give that a go. Tell me what you think. And you'll start trapping them right away again. Take care. See you in the next video.